I'm Cody Murdoch. And I'm Colin Bernhardt. And this is our final project for ECE 3710, which is our mock theremin. What a theremin is, is a electrical instrument, like a musical instrument, but it uses an electromagnetic wave where all you have to do is wave your arm in the air and you're gonna be disrupting this electromagnetic field and it'll be producing a sound in frequencies. So our project makes a different version of a theremin where instead of using an electromagnetic field, we're gonna be using an ultrasonic sensor to detect how far away our hand is from a sensor to produce music or sounds. Yeah, so this fulfills the requirements for the final project because there's two outputs, the output from the ultrasonic sensor and the output to the speaker, the, audio, the analog output to the speaker. And there's one, the one to trigger the ultrasonic sensor and the one to for the analog signal to the speaker. And there's the input is the echo back from the ultrasonic speaker so sensor. So basically the, this project makes use of digital to analog converters and individual timers. So I'm going to just explain a little bit about how the code works in more detail. So we're using multiple timers and for timer five, we're using edge detection. So like on a rising edge, it resets the count in timer five and on a falling edge, it will trigger the interrupt, which over here, when the timer is interrupted, it will update the frequency and the angle mod, which is the value that we add to our current angle every time that we want to update the digital to analog converter, which is updated over here when the timer four is triggered, which would trigger like periodically so that the digital to analog converter will continually have like a smooth sine or cosine wave. So every time timer four is triggered, we access our lookup table for the cosine rate and then after we change the register in the digital to analog converter we add our angle mod to our current angle so we can have a, continu a continuous angle going all the way around like going to all the possible values so we also have so at the start of our code we make we make sure we initialize our timers and then we just have a forever loop at the end so that the code never ends. So this timer is, this code is mostly interrupt based. Alrighty, so this is gonna be an explanation of how the ultrasonic sensor works on our uh, microcontroller. So the ultrasonic sensor is this component here. It has four different ports, the power and the ground, as well as two other ports named trigger and echo. How these work, it's kind of like how a bat uses an its uh, echo location, where the trigger sends out an ultrasonic sound to go and hit an object, and then it'll wait to receive an echo from the object. And whatever time it takes from the between the trigger and the echo will determine the uh, distance that it travels. So the trigger, the ultrasonic sound that it sends out is a 10 microsecond pulse, and you can see up here, it'll trigger a 10 microsecond pulse and then it'll wait to receive an echo and the width of this echo is how long the distance is between 150 microseconds and 25 milliseconds and if it isn't detecting anything in its path it'll automatically default to 38 milliseconds and that's how our ultrasonic sensor works on our microcontroller so i was responsible for the audio output to the speaker so we have to give it an analog signal within the human audible range from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and we did this with a cosine wave and we produced this, this cosine wave by interfacing with the digital to analog converter on the microcontroller to convert a digital datum to an analog signal so we can output it to a, the A in pin on our P mod which then our P mod will output to the speaker 
to the AUX port. So our P mod also has resistors connecting to the BCC to avoid any current being overdrawn and is properly grounded. And this P mod would amplify this cosine wave for the speaker. So to produce this cosine wave in the DAC, we also utilize something called a, a lookup table to look up the values to like put into the DAC so that we can get a proper cosine wave with as few clock cycles as possible because brute forcing it by like computing the values in the cosine wave with functions like cosine of x would take too many clock cycles. So to speed it up, we use a lookup table. We also utilize timers to update the cosine, like the values in the, the registers in the digital to analog converter periodically. So this is our final project. So basically what we did was that we got an ultrasonic sensor and based off how far our hand is from the sensor, we output different frequency sounds to the speaker. So I'm going to plug the speaker in to demonstrate. As we get further away, we have higher and higher frequency sounds. As we get closer, it's going to be lower frequency sounds. So on the oscilloscope, we can see these changes happen real time. We're outputting to the speaker using an analog signal. So as my hand is really close to the ultrasonic sensor, you can see on the oscilloscope that we have a lot lower frequency. So right now it's like a hundred, around like a hundred hertz. As I get further away, on the oscilloscope, you can see the frequency changes. And so right now it's like around one kilohertz. As I get closer again, the frequency changes to lower again. And for the ultra interfacing with the ultrasonic sensor, we also will showcase this using the logic analyzer on the oscilloscope. So I'm going to turn D0 on and D1. So D0, so D0 is our trigger, trigger signal, which there's pulses of 10 microseconds. And these pulses triggers the ultrasonic sensor, so it starts to send ultrasonic signals. And then based off the width of the echo signal we get from the sensor, that is then converted to a frequency that is outputted to our speaker. So we also have a 5 volt power source that's connected to our breadboard, connected to all our circuit components. But that's our project.